Hi, I'm JV Friday. I'm Extension Forester with the University of Hawaii. We're here in the forest, the Waiakea Forest above Hilo on the island of Hawaii. We're here looking at rapid ohia death, which is a new disease affecting our native ohia tree. Rapid ohia death is a fungus that is killing our native trees here. We first identified the disease in 2014. We know it had been here at least since 2010, killing some of the trees. Ohia is our most important native tree. About 80% of our native forests on the island are ohia, about 50% of all forests in the island and therefore in the state are ohia. If we lose the ohia, it's catastrophic for our native forest. In areas where this fungus has really hit very hard, we're seeing more than 95% mortality of ohia. So we're very concerned what it's gonna do and what it's gonna happen as it spreads throughout the forest to the state. So the symptoms of the trees are a tree will look healthy and green one week, start turning yellow another week, and two weeks all the leaves will turn brown. And then after three or four weeks or a month, the leaves will start falling off. From when we start seeing the symptoms, the tree dies really quickly. That's why we called it rapid ohia death. One of the signs of the fungus is a black staining in the sapwood. So if we look at the tree here where I've cut, you see black stain right there, right there, right there. If we were to cut the tree off, you could see a starburst pattern. Since we're taking slices on the side, you see these black streaks. One of the other ways you can tell, if you take a chip, you get a real banana smell to it. The banana smells from the fungus, it produces this sort of fruity odor typically. Well, if all the ohia trees die, or most of them die, and the forest is really severely degraded, first of all, it'd be catastrophic for our local wildlife. We have a lot of endemic bird species that are completely dependent on the ohia. A lot of them are nectivores that live on the ohia nectar. Others live in the ohia forest, that's their habitat. What would happen, I think, is the rare species would go extinct and the common species would become rare for a lot of our forest birds. We think this disease is spreading in different ways by at different distances. It can spread tree to tree by root grafting. If a tree on one joins onto the root of one tree, joins the root of another tree, the fungus will go right through the root graft. At a nearer distance, like a few hundred yards to a few miles, one of the main ways it's spreading is the dead trees are full of beetles. Boring beetles attack the trees once they're sick. They chew, they blow out a lot of sawdust. That sawdust blows easily on the wind. So that sawdust is also highly infectious. What we're trying to do something about, in particular though, is people moving things around. If people move an infected log or infected ohia from one spot to another, that can spread the disease. So people moving plants is a way it's gonna, the disease is gonna jump a long distance and we're really asking people to not do that, not move anything made out of ohia, particularly wood. The whole research program here is gonna be a really long term. I mean, we've launched two years now into a 100 year program, finding everything out we know about, we need to know about managing this disease.